I'm open to being corrected by someone who is there along with me. I don't remember us ever discussing the number of units and the configuration inside. We were more concerned with uh, access, uh, garbage handling, and a few other things that I have to go back to my minutes to establish. But it's, it's great that it's on the table now. Yes. Yeah. Just just to add to that comment. Um, in terms of the number of people inside the building, most of that discussion centered around um, students and whether or not it was going to turn into a party house. And uh, because of comments of the developer and just, um, I, yeah, the, I didn't feel, and I don't think most of the table felt that this, uh, the, the, that is the CDC, that this development had a danger of becoming a party house and, and abnormally disruptive, or at all disruptive downtown. Um, because it's just, it, it doesn't have the, the shape, it doesn't have the requirements to make a party house. They have, those are normally four or five friends, or at least people who know each other and are in the same social circles, sharing a house. They all have a bedroom and they share a big kitchen, living room, and entryway. And that's the kind of shape that, that causes so much trouble. And this just doesn't have that. Uh, the, the, uh, hopefully because it, uh, the, there will be a diverse enough uh, population in the building, and be just because 71 people that, and I'd be more than happy if that dropped down to, to fewer. Um, just because that many people, getting them all on the same cycle is completely impossible. So, um, so yeah, that's that's why uh, when we did discuss the number of people, we kind of we got we got down that road to a great extent. Um, so that's why we didn't. Perhaps that answers your question.